Monday, 218, uh, what the latest is? And September 19th, uh, 218. And the latest we have on our search for the overdue boaters um, out of Houghton area is we do not have any updates. We have not found them or any debris or the vessel, so our search efforts continue. We have the same assets as we, you know, had last night with the addition of the Coast Guard Cutter Biscayne Bay, a 140-foot cutter out of St. Ignace, and in addition to the same boats we had on scene yesterday from um, Coast Guard Station Portage, Coast Guard Station Marquette, air crews on helicopters from Coast Guard Air Station Traverse City in Detroit, Coast Guard um, fixed-wing aircraft from Cape Cod and Elizabeth City, North Carolina, as well as our wonderful partners from Canada with the the support of their C-130. Our search efforts have not revealed anything new, but we are continuing our efforts and and pressing on to try to find these individuals. Um, We're really hopeful that anyone out there with information, anyone that saw them Saturday afternoon, where they saw them, what time, any information, no matter how small, would really help us in our search effort. And um, what is the search pattern up there? I've got a lot of people saying they'd like to search the beaches. How far up along the eastern Keweenaw, maybe around the tip, or what? We believe the the last position they may have been that that we have any certainty or a small amount of certainty of is in the Keweenaw Bay, a little bit. Um, off of to the northwest of Pequimang, and so we're, we believe that's where you know the they may have gotten into trouble. Again, this is a, an assumption; it is not certain. But this is the only information we have to believe to know that they were in that location at some point that afternoon, and sometime after that point, they got into some kind of trouble. Um, so that is where. Um, I guess what I was saying, though, is do you have a certain, like, a, 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 any kind of gut feeling as far as uh, patterns of waves or tides where something could wash ashore, or could it be anywhere? I mean, I, At this point, you know, it could be anywhere. We've been searching the shorelines from Huron Islands all the way to the west around Huron Bay in the Keweenaw Bay, and all the way, we've been searching all the way out to, um, you know, the tip of the Keweenaw Peninsula. So if there are people anywhere in the area, anything on, on shore, I'd say it's a higher likelihood if something went to shore, it's probably further um, south in the Keweenaw Bay. But, again, any eyes on scene are greatly appreciated, and any sighting of debris or anything like that, um, we would greatly appreciate any reportings to the U.S. Coast Guard. Last question. How late are you planning to search today or overnight? And we've had weather go through, so go on. We are going to search all day tonight. We are going to search through the all day today. We are going to search through the night and into tomorrow. And then tomorrow morning, once we have new information or no new inf- information, we will reevaluate our plan for tomorrow.